Hello everyone, White Angel here and welcome back to the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War. For today's episode I've got one objective in mind and that is to take London. By the end of the episode the English capital will be in firm control of the Welsh. At least that's the plan. Luckily we've got a guy for the job just nearby, his name is King Llewellyn and he happens to be well equipped with catapults and that, perfect to do the job. So we're going to start marching him down towards London. He should get there next turn, which is fine we by me. Tomorrow, my liege. Okay, good. We do have a spy outside the town as well. Now, Let luckily, I've just been using him to check out see what the garrison is, which is pretty light. They've only got these two units of armoured sergeants and their king himself. That's okay. A clash of kings, I think, sounds pretty good to me. What I will do, though, I'm going to try and spy on... Well, get him to infiltrate the town. Because that way then I might have a chance to open the gates up, so you have to, to bust them down myself. But we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Is he gonna... Is he called in anyone else? Nope, he's done the job. Excellent. There we go. So now we've got a 24% chance of opening the gates when I attack. That could be useful, especially if it saves me and then have to bash down the walls and that, I can just simply focus on getting in and attacking their infantry. So there we go, 24% chance is going to help out. In the meantime though, I want to spend my cash to try and help out a little bit with the army, because at the moment we've got a lot of archers, which is quite useful. But our infantry is actually lacking a little bit, especially our melee infantry. We do have the spearmen of course, and we do have the Wavenwin here. But they have taken a lot of casualties. I mean, their numbers should be about 150, 120. So the fact that they've only got 47 and that suggests I really do need to sort them out a little bit. So what I'll do, let's go back to Nottingham a second. Because Nottingham is a major recruitment area for the English. And we will be able to use their facilities to help out a bit. In fact, ooh, I can get Gwen's Raiders and we can retrain these guys. If we do that, we should hopefully keep the experience that he's got. So we'll do that. I'll get some heavy billmen as well, just to help out, and we'll get some normal English billmen as well. I would like to get one of spearmen, but we have to wait three turns before they can become available. And Grant Raiders, we need to wait another turn, it looks like. Ah, possibilities. But we'll do that. There's no English forces nearby, so I don't have to worry about them coming under siege. We managed to deal quite the decisive blow in the previous episode by attacking a lot of the armies that England had around, had, <coughs> had around Nottingham. So, yeah, that was pretty useful. I do apologise, it's got a bit of a bunged up nose at the moment, so it's making talking a bit difficult. I just don't seem to be saying my words properly. Okay, I do have another army coming up here, don't I? I've got Wadri here, and another army here. We go no further today. Who are joining up because I plan to try and use these to try and reinforce Hurellen's army now. I think that's a better idea for them. Bring them so they can march over towards London. I can swap out the units then so the ones that are badly in damaged in his army can come back and get replenished with my facilities before marching out once more. I'll keep this, the bowmen because they haven't taken too much casualties but the infantry really need a rest. So we'll do that. We'll bring these up. Uh, Musa got down here. Prince Davith is attacking Shaftesbury. We're waiting another born, turn. Sire. We could attack right now, but to be honest, I mean, I suppose my issue is I don't exactly have a lot of infantry. So if I do attack, like this would just be all oh, this would just be an extra waste, basically. Like we got someone to go on the walls. We got things already. I tell you what. Let's see about. Let's maintain the siege for a second. What do they have here? They've got male knights, hominars, peasants, armoured sergeants and peasants. These are, A lot of these will be the survivors from our previous fight with them. So what we can do, we'll actually attack the ta on, me, castle now. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. Let me see. Okay, the male knights will be a slight problem, but we do have... Well, actually, we don't have any spearmen to help out. We do have Prince Davith and his... Uh, bodyguard, so that should hopefully be okay. Hominars, they're going to be a little bit damaging, but they're light cavalry, so that should be okay. Armored sergeants, my revenant should be able to take these out pretty easily. Peasants, I'm not worried about in the slightest. We can even just use militiamen against them. We do have plenty of archers to try and help out, so 
I feel tempted to just attack right now. Facts. I'm gonna risk an auto resolve. I want to focus my attention on fighting London later. So we'll just do this. Clear victory, 111 lost. We exterminate the population. And we'll start sorting out a couple of things. So we need. We'll pair that. We'll get dirt where it's being built so we can move around a bit more quickly. And that leaves me 600. I think I'll leave that for now. Although, let me see. Chester, can I get you anything here? Uh, we can't retrain a militiaman yet. We can get a merchant. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's get a merchant. There we go. End of the episode. No, end of the turn. What's this? No boy in war. His recent leadership has been too expedient to maintain his reputation of chivalry. Oh, he was supposed to be noble. Whoops. <laughs> ah well, mistakes can be made. Oh, what's this? Oh crap, it's a merchant. So for those of you that haven't had a chance to see this in a Medieval 2 game, merchants can actually sort of uh, compete against one another. Basically you can use your merchant to try and remove an enemy merchant from a trade resource. They basically sort of combat one another like this and then whoever wins gets to stay, whoever doesn't has to go. Oh he won! Excellent! Okay, if I lost that, I'm losing at the moment. I'm making about 180 a turn just from that one trade resource. So if I lost that, that would have been annoying. Of major hits, in fact. Okay, what do we need to do about this? Candidate for adoption, Prince Daviv. Morvan of Poes. He's got marks of war, so he's going to be able to take a few hits in combat. He's generally quite loyal and he's cool and cunning. You know what? I think I'll accept that. It should help it'll boost his army a little bit as well, so that's okay. Uh, let me see. We can retrain some of these. Let's retrain you because I need. You've got more. No, let's retrain you. He's got less men, so that will help out. So we've got this little thing. I'm just using these really to just go around and attack these little minor settlements that I've got around down here. Like, my plan will be Sorry. to take London. And then I can focus my attentions then on uh, just taking all these little southern counties. They're not going to be make me a lot of money. I mean, they're pretty low level ones. As uh, someone rightly pointed out, like down here, for example, Lanston, there's only a basic uh, tier one, tomorrow. tier two build it in the site. But I do need to take them as part of the victory conditions. So in fact, we just remind you what we got to do here. And these are whole 35 regions, including Carnarvon, Dublin, L and London, and eliminate England from the campaign. So counting all this out, I think if I even took all of England's forces, uh, lands, I would basically only get like 28, I think, 29 regions. Not even that. So I will have to declare war on either the Irish or the Scottish, maybe even the Norwegians. We'll have to just see how it goes. But for now, I can focus my attentions on England. That's the biggest thing. Right. Let's see. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Uh, Glory, okay, let's attack you. Teens Varmint Sergeants. Okay, we're gonna fight this out. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. We'll fight this very quickly. I do want to take London, like I said, and after this I should have enough movement points to go down and besiege the capital. Whether or not I want to attack straight away, given the fact I've got infantry coming now from Nottingham, I'll have to decide in a second, but for now, let's just do this. So it's going to be a river defense. That could be problematic for me, or very good good for me, depending on what the enemy decides to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my archers in the front line here. Their t job is to just basically attack and do as much damage from range as possible. In particular, I want the shield archers to do okay, because as you can see here, they're effective against armor. So armored sergeants, like the one they've got, could be pretty useful. If we are going to attack, the Raven men are going to lead them to charge. They got armor, uh, to piercing some damage. We'll have spearmen just to try and help out a bit there. We'll put you guys here so we can do some damage against them from a range. Well, fire flame and shot, why not? And general's bodyguard from up here. There we go. So first of all, let's move my archers 
so they could get into range. Now, do I just go quickly? I don't see the need to slow. Uh, keep a slow battle doing this. Can we shoot though? Damn it! You're saying like they're out of range? Really? Do you think the river was that big? Okay, can you attack them? Can you not move any further forward? Okay, attack these. Okay, what might be a good idea now is to start bringing my revenge right across here. You guys can form up then just behind them like so. Okay, I'll tell you what. Well, Van Wayne, we'll just drop you off here. Don't go too far forward. Likewise, you guys park up here. Archers, get here and basically focus your attention on the sergeants. There we go. So they're doing this weird shooting style, you can notice here. They're basically shooting very high up in the sky, like it's very much an arc and shot. But I'd rather just take the opportunity to eliminate them out of range and save my infantry from getting attacked. Ooh, that was a nice attack, straight through the middle there. It's not the most accurate though, to be fair. Okay, these guys in the back really take the hits. Oh, that was a nice hit. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. So there we go. We've managed to so far make them lose half their men, and we haven't even taken a single casualty in the turn. That's the sort of damage I like to see done in battles. It's a little bit dull, and it's late just sitting here watching them get bombarded by flaming shots. My archers shooting down on them. I'll tell you what, do something a bit interesting. Use flaming shots to see if we can do some damage that way. I don't find it to be as effective, but I think it's just a little bit cooler. We can also see then what's happening with the shots. I'm not doing as much. Oh, one good thing. Fire flame and arrows. Number one. There we go. 32 damage there, 32 there. Excellent. I do have to admit, one thing I find pretty lucky is the fact that it doesn't matter how many there, because there's no building damage in these earlier games. We don't have to worry about, for example, I think though in later Total War games, I think they did remove buildings, like so you don't get bridges anymore. You basically got oh, you have to shoot that, you know, try and cross over crossings and stuff like that. It's something I do find a bit of a shame because. Like, that really helped out, I think, like, you had, oh no, actually, I'm yeah, thinking about it, sorry. I get mixed up, in Rome 2 you did have uh, bridge battles, I never saw much of them in Attila. But it was nice to be able to just do a control bit like this, although in reality I would like the possibility, maybe in a later sort of war game, to have the possibility that if you are really taking some damage, then you could basically sh destroy the bridge, forcing your uh, enemy then to try and have to get forward around to one of the other sides and basically watch as your tro their troops are really going to have to push hard to try and get across the combat disadvantage of fighting in a river basically where your enemies on dry land. I think that would be a lot better way of doing a related to war games when you can actually just do things like destroy, you know, destroy terrain in order to try and help out your strategy better. Being in mind that that is also going to be useful for the enemy to do so as well. So if you had an army that's relying very much on cavalry, like mailed knights and stuff like that in this case, then it's not going to be that good if you have to try and ford them over a river. You might even have to take some damage from, you know, your troops being bogged down and so forth. Just something to think about maybe later in Total War games. Okay, let's bring you guys a little bit more forward at this point. Just so we can make things a little bit more accurate. There we go. Close range shots, just what I want to see.
All these bodies. Especially these ones, you can see all the fire damage. Okay, two men left. Stand brave, men. Stand brave. Just one man left. Okay, focus fire now on these. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Bad get up. How our cowardly foe runs. It's okay, let's continue the battle quickly enough so we can finish off these men. Okay, maybe not. This is a clear victory that goes to only. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to charge forward. I didn't realize as well that one of my archers went out of arrows. I was just caught it just in time, but unfortunately, it must have triggered them then to start running off. Let's execute them. That's that army defeated. Honorable, glorious victory. And there we go. We can just attack London straight away. They have moved out, it seems. What they've got here now instead? Okay, they've got heavy bill militia. They've got trebuchets. Okay, that could be interesting. Tell you what, come down here and attack will, sire, for now. We shall engage. Laying siege, noble sire. So I can actually attack straight away. They haven't had a chance to open the gate yet, thanks to my spy. But I tell you what, we'll build. Let's build some siege equipment just in case. This gives me a chance then to bring in the reinforcements from here as well. Order. So you guys my can start marching down. Yes. We'll make and if they stick around, I should hopefully arrive to reinforce the next turn and we'll be able to go for the next one there. An order. Okay, you guys. Yes. Let's move you here, let's move you here. Yes. There you go, that was a good army indeed. Let's start marching you down towards honor, here. Sire. We can also check out now what's going on in Oxford, if I remember right, and see if there's anything we can take advantage of on the way. Okay, Weiss, you'll sire. continue moving over there. We haven't got much. Hmm. Do I want a port? English spearmen. Two turns. If I wait two turns with the army here, then I can see at least get about get some possible reinforcements, something to hold at the, here, where I can actually continue my uh, charge, my march over to here at least. Getting a large town will help out a little bit with my income, even if there's not going to do much more than that. I also need to continue building up more money. I don't get much profits though. Hmm. Oh well, let's continue to do so. I would do want some safe wear. Long bowmen, very useful. Let's see. We'll do that. We'll get you no grand raiders. Okay. So going back to what I was saying about what to do next in the campaign, I do think Ireland will be conquered by me. I will go after the Welsh first of all, mainly English first of all, but then I will focus my attention on the Irish regions in order to secure those and add them to the amount that I need to take. The question will be then what to do with up in the north. We do have Norway. Now I'd imagine wanting to deal more with the Norwegians because they are technically invaders to my land. But they are going to be a bit tougher. They've got their king at the moment that's dropped off a whole bunch of new troops for them. Which could be a slightly problematic to deal with. Whereas Scotland would be a bit more weakened. Especially in the fact that they are fighting Norway. So that's something to do. But for the moment it will be finishing off England and going over to Ireland as part of my objectives. Our relationships actually get worse with them. That's fine. My lord. Let's move you guys down yes, here. Combining forces, sire. I feel tempted actually to start. Sire. I don't know what should I do. Should I make it so my uh, join these up so they will think? Because but then I will lose the experience. I should hopefully be able to recruit them then, with fresh troops, and not have to worry about taking by losing that experience that they've gained. Something to think about. Okay, yes, you can continue marching down here. Alfred is actually pretty tomorrow, available. Something to think about. Okay. Making camp here, noble sire. It's gonna take two turns to do that. I'll tell you what, let's just I attack command, now. My liege. Okay. 
So they've got heavy build militia. These guys are going to be quite good. They're good in defense, they're good in attack, and they're effective against armor. The trebuchet is not going to be that big a concern, Glory I think. It's just going to be name, an annoying uh, if they can attack me from outside the settlement. My job then will try to get a bit too close then and hopefully be able to eliminate it that way. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to be Irish, you're lucky enough. To be sure, to be sure. <laughs> Now, I've always wanted to visit Ireland. Ireland is, is a beautiful place, nearly as beautiful as Wales, and I've always wanted to go and visit there sometime. It's on my to-do list. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of the rain, the wind. That would do nicely. There's King Llewellyn himself. It's time to attack London. Not to scale, obviously. London's a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to knock down some of their gates and some of their towers, some of the walls in order to give myself some extra avenues to attack. So we put you guys right here. Uh, let's see, Heavy Billman, yeah I'm happy for you to try and attack on the walls. In fact, let's move you guys a little bit more closer so we can uh, do that like that. You guys, yeah I'm happy for you to attack this thing, we'll attack them this way as well. It is going to be a bit of a matchup since we've got heavy buildmen for the enemy and I've got buildmen as well. We'll just see how it goes. Let's bring up the archers. You guys can deploy here. We're going to put you in loose formation just in case we have to deal with the trebuchet, but we should be okay. Generals will keep you in a group or we'll keep you a bit further back. And we'll keep the spit everyone, all the infantry then. France, go put you guys in loose formation. And let's add you guys to the Taylor group. There we go. Okay, let's get this going. Alright, you guys can attack there, you guys can attack here. Okay, you guys focus on eliminating the gates first. Still have to march up front, do you? Okay, you guys. Get into loose formation to try and help out uh, some of that damage. Alright, where has the enemy deployed their troops? We've got Fibbermill Militia right here. Uh, the other unit's just there. Okay, if we can get our troops onto the wall, that'd be fine. We can then bring them along the wall and attack them from that side rather than have to deal with them directly. Uh, what I will do, maybe, let me see. Let's take. You three units uh, go and attack these, and then you two can come and attack these. Hopefully they'll do a bit of damage against them. Okay, you guys are now attacking the gates. You still haven't managed to hit it yet. Twenty-four damage. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay. that. I'm not sure whether or not the fact that they pin them in tight form uh, tight or loose formation before they get onto the walls Lord it makes much great. difference. But I've seen too many times walls. when I've left them in loose formation and it's a hassle like when they actually land so I figured I might as well just take the opportunity and sort out this way first. Okay they have the trebuchet in the capital. They seem to put Seem to put the trebuchet over here. Have they? Yeah, that's not going to do any anything to me there, really. Okay, seventy-two percent. You guys are firing missiles. Great. Okay, you guys now need to come up onto the tower. Are you guys going to move up? Oh, you are getting up there. Okay. I was just wondering, they all seem to be standing around. I was wondering, what exactly are you guys doing? Okay, likewise, you're getting up there slowly but surely. Right. Eighty-four percent. Just a little bit more to go. Hmm. The only thing I'm kind of hoping for is the fact that these guys are build militia, whereas my troops are actually 
just build men, so that my guys should hopefully have a little bit of extra you know, training and that to help out. I suppose we'll just find out now when they come to attack. Here he goes. Victory is a bit more assured. Okay. Let's see if we can get out there to help them out a little bit. Spearman, we're going to bring you guys straight in. And we'll bring the Great Raiders in as well. We'll see if we can get them to come in and help it that way. Okay. Tell you what, you guys can come this way. Grant Raiders, you can charge this way and attack them from the rear. Archers, we'll bring you guys in here as well to help out. We'll put you back in normal formation there. And generals and that will bring you guys in as well. You might be able to help out against the battle things. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, start mark, speeding things up a little bit. Okay, so what we got here? These guys are running away. All right, tell you what, generals, come over here and chase after these guys. The Lord is with us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. Alright, one brave guy hanging on in there. See how well you do. There you go, you're dead. You finished off? No. I was really amazed when Medieval 2 came out first of all, because I remember like it was a big thing that they started having kill animations. So when you had these troops that were all of a sudden able to uh, you know, you watched as they stabbed their enemies right through the chest with their spear. Or when you see them with like the two-handed weapons, that's the sway handers and stuff like that. When you watch them just smashing away the enemies, you know, into the enemy's shoulder and then pulling out and attacking again. Those were really, really cool. I was really impressed with those, I remember, when it came out. Okay, let's bring you guys back down here. Did the, my generals not come in? What? I told these guys to come marching in to attack and they didn't bother to do so. Now these guys... Right. That's something at least. You've started to think, okay. Come in here and kill these off for me. Everyone else, get your butts in here because you've taken your sweet... I got them coming all around the place when they shouldn't be doing anything. God damn it. Okay. Taylor, let's bring you over here. I want you to take out that trebuchet if at all possible. Before they start bringing in against me. Spearmen will start marching you in against the general's bodyguard over here. You guys, you've now making your way onto the walls and you don't need to be. So let's just take you guys to come over here and attack the generals as well. You're actually able to take some shots against someone. Cool. Okay, you guys are routing. Not exactly sure what you're doing, plan to do exactly, but every bit, I'm sure it will help. Spearman against the general's bodyguard help uh, will help out a bit. If these guys do their job, they should be going after the artillery. You guys, where are you attacking now? Okay, let's bring you, just bring you down here. Ah, I'm getting frustratedly annoyed with some of my men already. <laughs> okay, victory seems assured. We should be able to, those bodyguards should not be much of a problem for my spearmen. Okay, you guys, come over here and basically take out the general. Okay, put you guys back into the formation. Everyone can charge down here, I think. Oh crap, I forgot to put these guys back into tight. There we go. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. You guys should be able to take out the trebuchet a lot more better than you should be doing. Okay, you guys come over here. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, I want you to charge in now against that trebuchet crew. My lord, we've lost control of the city. Right, charge in now into the, the way enemy here. King is slain. Great. A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. We must press our advantage. Okay. You guys can pull out. I'd like to try and save them if possible, so I don't particularly want them to think. 
you guys pull out as well because you're taking a few more casualties than I quite like. You guys continue to attack them. You guys should be on your way over to attack. Okay, you guys can now attack from the rear. I wonder if we actually get to keep the trebuchets afterwards. Because I know in later Total Wars you can have it that once you've taken some, if you manage to defeat the artillery crew, you can actually take that artillery. And trebuchet is a very powerful against enemy walls in that. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Excellent. Okay, Last, so what's our men no what? longer command the city? Ah, oh, so annoying. Okay, so we do have something over here, don't we? Alright, you guys. You guys are chasing after these four bill, heavy bill militia that are left. Is there anyone we haven't defeated yet? You guys. Okay, General, let's, King, let's move you out of there. Spearman, let's bring you down here to attack. You guys can attack. General, let's get you out of from here. The last thing I want is them to die, him to die because I haven't been paying attention. He's already lost 33 men as it is. Right. Everyone get down here. Attack them. Tell you what, archers, if you want to help out, try and do some damage against them if possible. What I can do with you guys though is charge in from the rear. Hopefully we can get a nice big, uh, good charge straight into that rear. Just like that. Okay, let's move you back out. Eight men left. Should be a fairly easy job. Let's turn around and have a charge. This is a clear Thank victory you. that goes to only men of great virtue. We lost 153 men, but we managed to get through, kill their king, and take the town, which is. The city, I should say, which I'm really happy with. Which is a, a bit frustrating how long it kind of took, but there you go. Glory, honor, victory! <sighs> God be praised! He okay, now what do I plan to do? Victory. It is a large stone wall, so I can't. I'm not sure how much if I can get it to a higher tier. So occupying the settlement does seem thing, but exterminating the population seems something that we've been doing recently as well. So I'll tell you what, let's continue that uh, hobby, should we? Managed to drive out a few English diplomats in the area as a result. Sire. Philip is fine. Let's move you down here, course, so we can check out a window. Because you're a castle, what have you got here? Can we move you in? Let's try. There we go. So they've got knight stables that give them access to that. They've got this that's given them access to armored swordsmen. Ooh. If I can conquer this fairly quickish, I might even get access to armored swordsmen myself. That could be something to think about. For now though, let's spend my money. I need to repair that. We can retrain a lot of my archers, it seems. Let's do that. And now I need to decide what I do need to do with all my money. We can get access to City Watch, Siege Works. I thought he had access to Siege Works already. No, they seem to have downgraded it. I could have swore it said Siege Works already. Oh well, we've got Abbey, Council Chambers. Let's build a port. Let's get that going. Let's increase the f that. And we got Paved Roads and Inn, Abbey, Communal Farming. Armour. Let's build that. We should now be making over 9,000 a turn. That will, is really going to be help me out now. You guys can come down here just in time to swap tomorrow, over that. Okay, Where you're continuing are? over here to check out what's the situation at Winchester. Like again, I... There's no real rush to deal with these because at the end of... Oh, actually. I, it will be an honor defeating you. You've got one army left over here to take out, and they seem to be marching towards my lands. By your will, sire, we shall engage. I reckon my army, what I've got here, should do quite well against you, them. My enemy. So we'll keep an eye out for that, and we'll send my spy up here sire, in order to continue following what they're I doing. Shall continue tomorrow, sire. 
You guys need to be trained. That's fine. We've upgraded this. Hmm. More spies, merchants, diplomats. Let's hire another merchant for now. Okay, so we're going to end the episode here, but I think we're doing pretty well. We've only on turn 20, and already have managed to do quite the equivalent blow to the English. We've taken their capital of London. We've taken their main recruitment centre at Nottingham. And it's not going to be too long before I can focus my attention, basically, on the southern counties and just wipe them out. They're not that powerful. They're not that built up in terms of, like, the walls and that. So it should be fairly easy pickings for me. Once that's done, I can focus on the northern areas and the ones in the east. With that done, like I said, go over to Ireland, take the English counties there. And then I'll probably go against war against the Irish, just so we can get rid of them. Plus, historically, Ireland did have a bit of a monopoly on some of the sort of... I hesitate to call them uh, countries. The domains of several lords, shall we say, like... Um, Oh god, I'm terrible with names. I did Dominion in that. Oh. Yes, I thought there was already a Masters one there. You're telling me I knocked it down on, on the way? Apparently so. But, yeah, we'll end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Feel free to leave comments in the bottom and let, just let me know how you're enjoying it. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Any tips, advice? It's always appreciated. But until the next episode, guys and girls, goodbye for now.